Coach, just for you uh, personally, get ahead, be on the court for the first time with your new team. Uh, just what, what is this kind of like I liked it. It, it kind of hit me on the bus. I was back in the front seat on the bus. And uh, it, it's, a, it's, it's a good uh, analogy of, you know, we're not looking back, we're looking forward when you're sitting in that window. But I feel great being out here. I mean, I, I did from the first workout on March 19th. Uh, with them when I got the job to right now because you're, you're, you're putting demands and expectations on them to get better and whether they get it or not, whether they understand it or not, whether they accept it or not, it's only going to benefit them when they get it. And that, that's, that's the part of coaching that you got to be strong with and true to and I kind of really enjoy that and I really, really enjoy then when they start to get it. Now we're not there yet and that's not coach speak, that's reality. But we, we are making strides, and it'll be fun to see where we stand tonight. Well, we kind of got a chance to see that today here at the, uh, at the shooter round. Sure. I mean, there were a lot of instances where you kind of stop in the middle of the drill and have guys kind of slow motion through. Uh, well, this is their first time with me and with us in a, in a game day situation, too. Just like last night was their first time with us and the night before a game. Just like yesterday was the first time with the day before a, pri or day before a game. So we're, we're certainly not trying to treat this. Uh, in the normal preparation realm. First off, they got four returning players, so there's a lot of things we don't know about them, and we're a brand new team, so maybe they've got the same situation, but we're trying to make sure that we get the keys for us that maybe we haven't spent as much time on yet, but that we need to really understand we got to make it part of our identity. That's our transition defense. That's our ability to control the dribble better, uh, to not foul jump shooters, challenge shots without fouling, and then get all five guys rebounding. And offensively, can we stay true to our spacing? Can we keep cutting? Can we keep cutting hard? Can we get good looks? Uh, can we deliver the ball on time, on target? Can we get to the offensive glass? There's so many things. There's a litany of things we want to be good at. I know we can't be yet, but we got to be good at some of those things so we know where our weaknesses are to really harp on when we get back home. How is this the challenge of taking over Georgia? I know the Indiana situation how different with probation and all that. How is it different from the other ones you've heard? Oh, it's completely different. Maybe if, if any of the jobs, it'd be more similar to Marquette because there were good, really good young people returning back in that program, and um, they really wanted to do well. And um, But again, when you're new to a league, when you're new to a program, and everybody's new to me, whether it's a player or a coach, that takes time. So I find myself having to check myself quite a bit and stuff that I would take for granted in the past because somebody would handle it for me or somebody had been with it with me. Um, no, I got to make sure I'm doing that. So it forces me to really be on it. And I kind of like that. It's good. Because what you don't do is take anything for granted with a program. And every time I think that something might be known or I think, well, you know what, they'll get this pretty quick, it takes a little time to do that. So I'm spending more time making sure how do I help them learn what we want to do, hold them accountable without having them have uh, too high expectation for where we're at, but also not let them get comfortable with just making a little bit of progress. We want to make a lot of progress. And I'm trying to balance that right now. That's hard, and that's what I spend most of my time thinking about. What's your fans' expectations? Somebody kind of tempering your own expectations. What, your fans the same thing? Oh, I think they have to. It, it, and and I, that's not coach speak either. Everything is different. And, and um, when you talk to them, I mean, it's just different. And it's not that one style of play is better than the other. But it's different, and this is very different for us. With we're, we're so far behind on X's and O's, plays, sets, where we've tried to spend so much time on concepts, making the next pass, shooting mechanics, you know, what a good shot is for us, what a good shot isn't, talking, you know, all the things that you got to really be good at, running both ends of the floor. There's nothing that I would look at and say, that's our identity right now. And it's October, what, 18th? Guess I'll remember that, right? So I think fans have to, to see that too. It is, Dan Leibovitz from the SEC office came in the other day, he's a former coach, uh, excellent guy, does a lot with the SEC, and he said this is completely different for them. And he kept giving me the examples of where it's different. You need perspective like that once in a while. And I hope our fans will keep that in perspective as we build this.